30 Minute Meals is all about really quick, tasty cooking for really busy people. Uh, every show, we're doing 40 shows, and every single show um, has got a meal, not a, not a dish, a whole meal. Three, four, five different things, drinks, desserts, you know, you name it. All like, really interesting contemporary dishes, really. Lots of influences from Asia, India, uh, classic British, Mediterranean cooking. I mean, the, the whole thing about 30 Minute Meals is about being organised, having the right recipes, having really good hints and tips and shortcuts and little aha moments. And you can see over here, this is all resting juices here. Don't lose any of that. You want all of that resting juices. Now that's what it's all about, really. Just being clever. It's just clever cooking. Just use your senses, really, your sense of smell. You can smell when things are going wrong, when things are catching. You can hear when things are burning. Uh, and, you know, try and grow some eyes in the back of your head. Get your stuff, you want your board, wet cloth so it doesn't move. I'm going to use a food processor with a, the normal sort of mixing blade. I've got the condiments. I need my oven put on to 200 degrees. OK, so I'm going to whack that on now. I need a kettle put on. What else do I need? I've written 50 30 minute meals in the book and we've filmed 40 of those for the TV series. They're going to go out like a month block uh, in England anyway, um, going towards Christmas and a month block in spring. Me and all of my team have learnt a lot from doing this series about organisation, choices, um, about sort of almost having sort of pockets of types of dinner. Like, you know, there's a one hour dinner now, there's like a 30 minute dinner now. There's even a 10 minute dinner now, and then there's the weekend sort of two hour, chill out, have a couple of drinks, sort of epic big roast kind of dinner, family cooking. So it's, it's funny, I mean we're experienced cooks, but it's made us really focus on what's dinner or lunch going to be like today? Well, what's the remit? Okay, you've got 20 minutes. Okay. You know, so it's, I think, yeah, I think we're just um, lean, mean, fast cooking machines now, and uh, we could always do it fast. but. 30 minute meals, the genius of it isn't just blasting stuff out, a lot of thought has gone into it. A lot of thought about what's available in supermarkets, down the markets. A lot of thought has gone into you know, how you stagger food, stagger dishes in a meal, so that actually you end up, at the end of 30 minutes, with everything in the best possible nick. So, yeah, it's been a real learning curve actually. Unknowingly, I didn't think I'd learn anything from this, but, but we have. We've cooked so much food in the last couple of weeks that I'm drunk on 30 minute meals. Like, honestly, I don't even know where I am anymore. I've cooked so much you wouldn't believe. We're on the, we've just done two meals today, and the last two that we did were pretty epic. One was Piri Piri chicken, uh, which was really good with a fantastic noodle salad and little Portuguese caramel tarts. You've got to check that baby out. Uh, and then this morning, we cooked um, satay chicken skewers which was absolutely brilliant, homemade satay sauce. Like, it just made the stuff that I've tried before taste so bad. So yeah, they're good ones, but we've done all sorts. We've done stir fries, we've done sort of, we did a classic roast beef dinner in 30 minutes. Although you've got to see that one, that, that, that took some thought to do that. Um, the nice thing about the food is literally whether you're cook, a cook or not a cook, you can achieve what I'm achieving in 30 minutes. You've just got to do what you're told. So when you read the recipe, just do what it says, and trust me, and you'll end up with the right thing. But if you start freestyling it, the, it's, it could go anywhere.